What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our summer transfers. This is going to be a breakdown review. I've played with a lot of these players either through co-op, either signing them myself and of course we do have to talk about Nkunku as well who is definitely one of the best players that they have produced and released in the last couple of months. For a standard version of a card I know he's going to be fairly boss for Chelsea as well and a card will come for him in the new season update uh, with eFootball24 but this card is insane lads. Check out my review of him if you haven't already. By the time this video goes up that review will already be there right. So let's crack on with it. We've got three goals at this and you also get your free spin as well. So you get 50% of the box here. It just depends on what your luck is whether you get uh, Nukunku and Guerrero who are two of the best I would say players here. Kovacic, Aspilicueta are quite tasty as well. Skriniar and Tenali are quite decent. Havertz is pretty okay as well. They're all pretty okay. I mean we will take a look at these. I am probably going to do a dedicated training guide um, specific to each player there'll be about four or five minute videos I know you guys like those where we give two different builds and then a GP standard alternative as well but we are going to crack on with this and go straight over um, to eFootball DB right so the first player that we're actually going to look at here is going to be Tenali, right? So Tenali is an anchorman, which when you are thinking about an anchorman, he's literally just going to sit back. The thing I like about Tenali is the fact that he is actually quite fast. This version of him is quite decent. He doesn't have blocker, but he does have double touch. He also has one touch pass and interception. So he's kind of a nice mix. Uh, he's not as good as Casemiro or somebody like Barrios, I would say, that was released in the Columbia pack or the player of the week, Casemiro. But this guy is a really, really good DMF that can play a little bit of ball as well, right? So when we actually go over here to him and see his card, we're going to train him up with 21 levels and we're realistically just going to want to get that up as high as we possibly can, especially the aggression. And then we can just kind of do the rest of it. If you are looking to have a defensive guy that sits in the pocket that just sits back and doesn't really need to be on the ball too much, you're not going to be dribbling too much with him. So I do think once his tight possession is up around the 80 mark, I would also put his acceleration to 75 and his lower body to 75. And then I would just pop the rest in either to physical contact or else I would probably pop just four more in here to have a very very nice DMF like as I said you are relying here on a lot of his player skills and going to that 95 overall version of him it's very similar to this Italian pack if you missed out on that um, and if you stick blocker on this card it's a really really good card to have right next up we will take a look at probably kind of a card that doesn't really do it for me but I have played a good bit of co-op with him He's okay. I mean, obviously, he's Arsenal's new signing coming from Chelsea. Um, he's a fairly decent player. Obviously, they're doing away with the team playstyle proficiency, so that loses a little bit of its luster. And he has got standard form. Havertz is a whole player. You're only realistically going to be playing him as a AMF, right? And he does have good player skills for that, such as true passing. Uh, he doesn't have one-touch pass. But 26 levels is more than enough to get him as a well-rounded card. You know, you can actually have 80 in pretty much every stat very, very easily, right? And then with the dribbling, you can go a little bit more with that and the dexterity you're not raising the dexterity for the acceleration too much but you are for the balance and the um, offensive awareness because he's a whole player he'll make very direct runs right I will do a training guide on a few of these uh, players but that is probably a really quick training guide that I would do for Kai Havertz a fairly decent player to get if you are looking for an, an SS Listen, if you spin for these and you have four chances of getting Nakunku and you don't get him, but you get any of the rest of them, they are definitely good squad or bench players, depending on how good your team is. If you're just starting off or you're playing a role to glory and you have a couple of free, free coins, I would say definitely try and get Nakunku and Guerrero. They're two of the best players. We'll leave them for a second. Um, but Martinez kind of falls into that trap. Him and Skriniar, both really good players. Heading, man marking, acrobatic clearance, but doesn't have blocker. Aerial superiority is a must as well. His aggression goes really high because he does have 27 levels. And I would also say that Aspilicueta, his aggression is 82 and he's got 27 levels as well. And he's down as a defensive fullback, but can play left or right. Has unwavering form, does have sliding tackle, aerial superiority, interception, and one touch pass, but doesn't have blocker either. So the two of them kind of track up fairly similar, right? I would say that Skriniar is kind of a slight step up over the two of them. Just just barely. I mean, I wouldn't say that he's a massive step on him. I actually have Skriniar here. So we'll just cover the three center back version guys here, right? I would probably put up his acceleration just a fraction and then we're going to pop in his defense to get him all into the 90s with defense and then because he is a destroyer we do want him to be fairly aggressive as well when he doesn't have the ball his speed is more than enough there but we can get two extra into jump that's how I would go with the center back version of him there we also have in, uh, in Kunku which we'll get to in a second Kovacic will get to Guerrero which we'll get to 
but Martinez is a guy with 27 levels as well once you kind of get that up to the 90 mark right the 92 and 88 88 um you can actually just throw the rest in because he's a bit, a bit small you can actually get the jump up to 90 which is quite decent and a header at 88 which will get the boost i always like that if you throw a blocker on him very very decent get your 70 acceleration it's just kind of a thing i like to do 70 on that and then throw the rest into the fence that's a very very good card and the same can be said about aspilicueta even though he's down as a defensive fullback he isn't that fast you're not going to be ripping up the wings with him but you can have a very 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 solid right back that's extremely defensive him and rinaldo rinaldo are very very uh, very uh, average going forward with the ball but defensively they're absolute geniuses at just getting the ball at the last second i've played with aspilicueta and i've played with ronaldo as well and they're both from different packs obviously but they do a similar job as defensive full backs as i said you're not going to be able to get everything on this card um but you have got a nice balance and he's down as a 93 center back right so that's kind of the guys I would say that if you do get those in your pursuit of the other guys, you could you could kind of go for them, right? So that leaves us with the two big top ballers, Nkunku and Guerrero, and then we also have Kovacic. Kovacic's stats lads are actually kind of, I would say that they're kind of low-key, one of the best, he's one of the best players in the card, in the, in the game, as from a card point of view, looking at him, right? He's got unwavering form, he also has one-touch pass, heel trick, and way to pass but he has interception as well as a box to box but i would 100 percent be playing him as an attacking option look at his stats when you actually train him up right you can go to 90 low pass very very easily you can go into the 90 with the dribbling very very easily his dexterity and balance is going to be insane for a player that you wouldn't consider to be a really really fast player and he also has a bit about him with the speed and the stamina, which is quite nice. And you still have six points left over that you control wherever you want. So if you wanted to have a very aggressive attack and midfielder, you could play him there with the interception and he'd make a lot of chances for you. Or you could pop in a few more into his lower body. Or you could pop them all in here and boost up his passing and get a little bit higher. So as a center mid, as a box to box, I wouldn't really rate him too much. But as an AMF, they are insane stats apart from shooting, especially with the balance and the height that he is, the box to box and the heel trick, the one touch pass. It's an excellent card, right? Also with Nakunku lads, this is the pick of him. As I said, I've done a really in-depth training guide review of Nakunku. Uh, let me know who you want to see next. We will get that cracking as well. But this guy is the real deal, lads. I genuinely think it's one of the best cards that they've released. You can train him up multiple ways, right? Look, you can train him up to have that sweet spot in 88 in ball control, dribbling and low pass. And then you also can hit that sweet spot with the with the acceleration and the balance while still maintaining a little bit of stamina the stamina is a bit of a killer on this card but you also have 80 in finishing look at that for a creative playmaker as a as an option right if you don't want to go that uh hard on you know if you want to play him as an ss this is kind of an attack and midfielder build if you don't want if you want to have him as an impact player and, and you just want to be shooting a lot more with him you can take this passing down to like 84 you can take the dribbling down so that you still have the tight possession and the ball control but you can pop up the finish into 86 it's an insane card lads it really is an insane card with brilliant balance brilliant stamina brilliant or brilliant acceleration speed everything even at that if you don't want to go that high with the shooting and you don't want to go that high with the dexterity if you want to just cap it or sorry if you don't want to go that high with the lower body you can just cap that you can pop two more in and get 95 acceleration 93 balance so there's multiple ways to train him up and then last but not least we have one of the hidden gems of the game from an early inception of the game right this guy's a left back but i think if anyone's watched me play with alex gramildo he's an absolutely insane wing back right and this guy, even though he has standard form, right, which is a bit of a change from him, um, if you're used to playing, we did have a player of the week version of him that had unwavering form, which we'll get to in a second. He does have one touch pass, double touch, and also weighted pass outside curler and true passing with early crosser and long ranger. So you can get a lot out of this card with 27 levels. I will do a dedicated review training guide on him um but he's just insane right fullback finisher don't worry too much about that that play style doesn't really come into it too much but this guy is going to be all all about all action right so you've got your dribbling really really high straight off the rip 88 88 19 88 and then with the acceleration you can get that up to 88 and 92 balance with 82 offensive awareness defensively i wouldn't really rate this guy so high this is an offensive build of him but you can still get the speed up and the stamina up. Obviously, the speed is the balancing factor with him, that he's not completely overpowered. But that speed doesn't really make a difference once you have the ball at your feet, right? And then the rest of the stats, you can just pop them up. I would probably go full out on, um, on that if you want an offensive build. 
Um, with that, you've got 88 acceleration, 89 kick and power, 92 balance, 91 stamina, 87 uh, lofted, 88 low, 88 ball control with 88 dribbling. If you want to change it up a little bit and you don't want to go that um, aggressive, you could obviously take away this a little bit just to have the dexterity back and pump up the defending to get at least, I would say, 80 uh, aggression and still have that low pass, still have that lofted pass. So I do really, really like him. But listen, all in all, lads, this is definitely a brilliant... I think they pulled a fast one here because I think if these were nominating contracts and you would, they were all five-star... I would definitely be recommending probably five or six of these off of this for five-star contracts. But these are with coins. So you get 50% chance, you get the one free spin, and then you get three spins at this. So let me know what you guys think of these highlight packs. I would say that Akunku and um, Guerrero are two must-haves if you do spin them to train them up, max them out, and get them in your squad, even on the bench as impact players. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back soon. Hope you enjoyed the series of these videos. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.